A linear array transducer with a musculoskeletal exam type is used to perform an ultrasound-guided aspiration of a baker's cyst. The patient is in a supine position. The transducer is placed transversely over the popliteal fossa with the orientation marker directed to the patient's right. The most common location for a baker's cyst is at the crossing of the semimembranosus muscle and the medial head of the gastronemius muscle above the femoral condyle. The femoral condyle is seen as a bright, hyperechoic structure on the left of the screen. The speckled pattern of the tendon of the semimembranosus muscle and the starry night appearance of the medial head of the gastronemius can be seen as the transducer is moved more distally. A baker's cyst appears as a C-shaped, darker hypoechoic or anechoic cystic structure with a superficial and deep component. The transducer is rotated 90 degrees clockwise with the orientation marker directed toward the patient's head. The extent and depth of the baker's cyst should be confirmed by scanning the cyst proximally and distally. The needle is inserted in the skin just proximal to the transducer. The needle is slowly advanced to lie in plane to the transducer beam and is seen as a bright, hyperechoic linear structure. The needle is slowly advanced under direct ultrasound visualization until the tip is seen to lie within the baker's cyst where an aspiration can be done. After the procedure is finished, the area should be scanned to ensure that there is no evidence of bleeding in this area.